This is Greenworks Whipper Snipper. I'll put the exact model down in the description. We bought this in 2019 and the following video will be from May 2019. I'm taking this in 2020 now. We can see that we've bought the bigger battery as well. We talk about using the smaller battery because it came with the smaller battery and we bought a spare. And so we had two smaller ones that we used. And in the following video, you will see the whippersnapper. I don't think Pete talks about it, but it has four blades. Whereas the one we've got now, because this is our second blade, has got three. And Pete said the four blades better. It's more balanced in use. So next time we need to buy a new blade, We'll buy a fourth blade and we're really happy still with this whipper snipper it's really good for light yard work okay we've got our new mower our whipper snipper strumer whatever you want to call it um it's electric one of these lasts about 20 25 minutes and you can have one charging while you're using one so it just goes on here, clicks in, wear a pair of sunglasses because the guard is fine. I've put about 10, probably 10 battery loads through so far. So we've done this whole area. Okay, wait a minute, I'm going to spin around. And it's pretty overgrown. So we've got to cut it down with this. Do you want to stand up so we can see how long the grass is? Now we're planting trees. Um, quite thick. Some places here. It's up here. So I'll just start here and we'll just try it out. Turn the button on. I'm just going to back up a bit. There, yeah, I've got the tree. Okay. Let's put down there. We've got a turbo button too, but you haven't needed to use it. Okay, so one here. This is switching it on. And this one here is turbo button. So it goes a lot faster. But I don't think you need it. There's nowhere I've needed it. Talk about how you hold the handle when you're... Okay, so you got to push this down. And... And it's quiet. The motor's quiet. This here is for rest. It's good to put it up underneath here and you can hold it here with your elbow. From you, okay. Yeah, so you grab hold of it here and pull it out and you can grab it here. So you just swing. And if you tip, tilt it a little bit like that, this thing here. Yeah.
honey. The last thing I would like you to talk about is the battery. It just goes till it stops. Yeah. So I'm trying to step through the thing. Yeah. Hey. The battery continues to the same power right through to the end, and all of a sudden it just goes red light and won't go anymore. Doesn't fade off. It doesn't fade off and get weaker and weaker. It stays the same power right to the end. So. And it's light enough I could use it too. It's not that heavy. Well, it's fairly heavy. I think it's about five kilos. I don't know. It's like. And this here, you've got to. Oh, yeah, the adjustment. The adjust. Get it so as it basically. See, this is very light now. You've got to get the balance right. You've got to get the balance right. It could probably go forward a little tiny bit more, but you wouldn't want to go any much more. Um, I can't see any drawbacks except for in the rain, anything to do with water. You don't want any water near this thing. It's got a lot of power in it. Have you said everything you want to say? Well, I'm really, really happy with it. We'll do this whole paddock here. Okay. By the time you've done a power pack, it's sort of like it's time to have a bit of a sit down and go and get another one if you want. But you can go all day with it, just keep plugging them in and it's good. You walk out with two power packs and you've got an hour's running time basically. And you can get pa battery packs that last twice as long. These are the smaller packs. But since we're probably going to buy the lawnmower. the lawnmower in this brand, because we've seen the reviews on it and it looks really good, and they're interchangeable. Okay, so you're done? Yeah. All right, you want to say bye? Goodbye. Now. In our video that we just did reviewing the whippersnipper, that was in 2019. This is now 2022 and we got the garden completely down and we did buy the electric mower by Green Tools which we're happy with as well. But this is just to show we are a little bit behind on the mowing but we're working on it. That we're still happily using their tools. And the whipper snipper is really good for like light yard work and stuff like that. The green tools do sell heavier versions as well, I believe.